Welcome back to City Line. With me right now, I have somebody who, well, if she had been in the library when I was little, I would have hung out with her nonstop. She's kind of like the Ms. Frizzle of Tacoma because everybody <laughs> loves her. I'm talking about Marissa Buss. She is the Public Information Officer of the Tacoma Public Library. Welcome, my dear. It's so good to see you. Me too, Amanda. How are you? I am. I'm hanging in there. How are okay. you doing? Just fine. It's great to be here virtually. So we've missed, I've missed the Tacoma Public Library now that we are in phase two of this Safe Start proclamation. Does that mean that maybe I'm crossing my fingers that we're getting closer to reopening some of your physical locations? Well, um, libraries can't open in phase two. We can open to the public in phase three. So right now we're focusing on um, phasing in some limited services that we can still do while um, our buildings are closed to the public. We are welcoming back staff to some buildings um, with proper social distancing and safety measures in place so that we can get more of the services services that our public rely on. On June 25th, our phone lines are going to go back up. So anything that you would normally ask a librarian for help with when our buildings are open, you can call our main line and be connected to a staff member. So that is a really great service. Um, they can answer questions about your library account, about our virtual programs, about Summer Reading Club, and also just you know, everyday life questions with things that you need help with. So if you've missed connecting with our incredible staff, then we have really good news for you. And then we know our community is ready to return their library materials. So I have some great news. We're going to open select book drops on a rotating schedule. Um, the reason that there it's rotating buildings is because that is the schedule we're managing with our limited staff right now. So um, check our website. The book drops open on July 1st and you'll just need to check the website and plan out your visit to where you can return your materials. After we have these things underway and we're keeping safe and our staff are doing well, we can start working towards by pickups and then other services that we can bring back. So we really appreciate our community's patience um, as we're working through all of these logistics with a limited staff. And we're looking forward to welcoming um, our temporarily laid off staff back at the end of July so that we will have more incredible team members to do this work. You know, it amazes me because I'm not internal aware of what goes on at the library, I have felt like Tacoma Public Library hasn't missed a beat because uh, the library has invested in so robustly in the virtual library on YouTube and social media channels. And if people don't know about them, what do they need to know, Marissa? Well, the great thing is that our staff is so talented and creative and innovative and smart and they have so many varied interests and hobbies and skills. So we had a little bit of a moment where we just figured out how to continue doing the programs that you would normally find at a library um, on the virtual in the virtual realm. So I would love for anyone who's watching this to check out our YouTube channel because you don't have to follow a schedule. You could just check out those programs anytime that you're available and that you want to check them out. So on our YouTube channel, we have activities and programs and things for all ages from babies to adults. So some of the things you can find are baby story times and story times for little kids with all of your favorite children's librarians doing the songs and rhymes and puppets and reading stories and just it's just so much fun if you've really been missing those programs. We also have um, programs for STEM, which is science, technology, engineering and math. It's really important to get kids engaged at a young age and feeling comfortable with those kinds of concepts. So we have a lot of great hands-on fun activities um, for kids that are learning about those things from home. We also have arts and crafts and we have um, a team member here who has a bug collection at home. 
so he did a program on centipedes. Then we have um, some wonderful, if you love to visit our Northwest room and learn about local history, and you love to peruse the archives and just dig into history, we have some amazing programs from our new Northwest room librarian, Spencer. He has created some amazing um, kind of lectures that are like um, something you might see on the History Channel where there are images overlapped with words and he's telling you all about um, the history of Tacoma. There's also an episode about Frank Herbert's Dune and its connection to Tacoma. So there are just some really fascinating and fun things and we release about seven videos a week. So there's always new content. That is, well, that is incredible. I mean, since I talked with you last, you've added so much to it. So let's talk about, because we have about seven minutes left. Okay. Summer Reading Club 2020, because Tacoma Public Library, one of their big jewels in their crown is the Summer Reading Program. Yes. And it is different this year, of course, while we're all, you know, at home, but we have continued to transfer the wonderful experience of Summer Reading Club into the virtual realm. So you can visit our website. You will find a reading log that you can download and print for all ages, and they are just absolutely fantastic. Our graphic designer is very talented. And then you can find um, creative kits for kids, which are kind of like activity booklets. Um, they have crafts, activities, rhymes, songs, all types of things. And it's a theme, a different theme for every week. So we have dragons, we have Pokemon, we have horses, something that every kid will really enjoy. And then of course, we have um, things for adults as well. I love that. So go to the website, join, click on it, you make it so easy. And if that wasn't enough, because you know, we have COVID, and we have limited access, but we have a great online program. We have Summer Reading Club, and then we have your Celebrating Pride in yes. of June and July. Talk about not resting on your laurels. I mean, you guys just didn't miss a beat. Well, our, our team is just so committed to our community that we don't want to leave any holes in our services. So we're trying to just continue um, and adapt as things keep going. So we will be celebrating Pride this year. Um, we have a program on July 8th with the Rainbow Center. It is a Zoom story time. So we're looking forward to that. You can also celebrate Pride from home. We have some um, wonderful book lists on our website. For You can start with, you know, baby story time and little kids story time. So we have a wonderful collection of books for the whole family. And we also have books for teens and adults. So check out our book list. Our librarians are fantastic and have put these together and they're on our website. I love that. So this may seem like a very random question, but it occurred to me, um, people may not have a library e-card. So tell us how do we go about getting them and actually do we need one? Yes, you, you'll need a library e-card. You access our e-resources, which is how you download books, movies, comics, magazines, um, and access other e-resources. So all you need to do is go to our website and find the button that says, get a library card, and you just fill it out and it's emailed to you right away. Then you can log in and start using all of our e-resources. And we have some pretty fabulous ones. That, can you make it any easier? That's fabulous. Okay, so this last four minutes, what other events are coming up that we need to put on our calendar? I want to talk about um, a program actually that we started with Grit City Magazine. It is called the Dear Tacoma Project. And it is, so as you know, the Northwest Room at our library holds one of the largest, most amazing archives collection of Northwest history. Well, history is happening right now. Um, Tacomans are creating history every day and we want to capture the stories of resilience and community that are happening right now with the quarantine, with the Black Lives Matter movement, with the marches and protests. We want to know what people thought, what they created, um, what they wrote about and what their families are experiencing. So 
um, you can visit our website, look for Dear Tacoma Project, and you can submit things that you've created. And then um, you can also visit Grit City Magazine because they are our partners in this endeavor. So we love working with them and we want to collect your story so we can preserve it for the future in our archives. I love that. And I love this program because every day we are making history. Um, I was just talking with Erin Gwynnup from the Tacoma Refugee Choir, and none of her choir have ever been through a pandemic before. None. Right have. So I love the fact that this program that you're working with Grid City Magazine helps us stop, look around, and record this moment in history. So yes. thank you. And your team, oh my gosh, how talented. Marissa, thank you so much. I want you on more than later, okay? Got and it. as soon as we get back to the comfy couch, you got a big hug coming, Missy, for me to you. Can't wait. Me neither. Give my best to you and yours, and thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for having me. My pleasure. We have much more to come on City Line. Our final fabulous fourth segment is coming up. You don't want to miss that. We'll be right back. <laughs> 